What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ball with MTG. This is your host, Malcolm the Goat. We're doing it big again. I'm back. Sorry, y'all. I was on the music scene for a little bit. Had to get a couple videos out. I had to shoot a couple things, but I'm back now, ready to deliver the best sports possible to you guys. Um, but first, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, everything that you can to this podcast because we're going up this year. And make sure to check out my music videos as well. I got some other content on this channel, so be clear. Uh, there, there's a lot. There's a little bit for everybody. I will say that there's a little bit for everybody. So stay tuned in. We're going up this year. But no, guys. Without further ado, we're gonna talk about the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets. Are they the serious contender? I mean, it's a lot of speculation. What? Why not talk about the Nets? They're the most interesting team in basketball right now, at least in my opinion. Um, but without further ado, Ball with MTG starts now. What's going on, y'all? So like I said, we're going to talk about the Brooklyn Nets. And do they have the potential to win the championship this year? And the answer, the clear answer is yes, they do. They have every, they have three of the biggest names that you could put on an NBA roster right now. With Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving, we all know what they can do individually. Kevin Durant, a two a uh, two time world champion, Astro. I still put Astro. In my opinion, he's not a champion just yet, but he's still a two time champion, the scoring title, MVP. Can do literally can score from anywhere on the basketball court. Can put the ball on the floor. He he's a uh, an elite defender, we don't, we don't give KD his credit, but he is an elite defender, and is probably one of the best defenders on that team they have right now. <laughs> Everybody else, oh my God. Oh my God, that, and, that, and we'll, we'll dive into that, um, of why they wouldn't win a championship, and defense is probably the only thing that's holding them back um, from being a legitimate team. Um, they just, they're like one of the worst, if not the worst defensive team in the league. Um, I mean, yeah, we, we see we see that he can put up 120, 140, 140 points a game, and but no, their their competition it, even no matter who they're playing, you see we they go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers, take an L. That should not be happening for this uh, Brooklyn Nets organization. I mean, I understand that chemistry is an issue, and I know Kyrie Irving came out and said uh, that James Harden is a point guard, and I like that. I, li I like James Harden running a point because I see Kyrie more as a, as a true shooting guard. Um, I've always thought he was even coming into the league. I mean, w w just because of it, maybe just because of his size, they had him playing running the point. Um, but no, I mean, this Brooklyn Nets team really has to – Jail. I mean, they're losing against teams that they should not be losing to. But they they also come they come to play when it's time to play. Like we saw when they faced the Clippers, boom win. Golden State, boom win. But you face teams like the Cleveland Cavaliers and you lose to them back to back times. I understand that's your first games together, but the Cleveland Cavaliers, come on now, come on now. We're better than that. I know they're a young, rising team. I like I like the pieces they have down there. And beware, Andre Drummond is, he really could shake the NBA with his one move. I've seen that the Hornets, Celtics, Raptors, Clippers, especially if he goes to the Clippers, he really could shake uh, the NBA with that. And maybe, especially out West, if he goes to the Clippers, then I think the Clippers, I hate to say it, if, the, if he goes to the Clippers, they might be the favorite to come out the West. Um, but the Clippers still need a ball, uh, a playmaker, so. But no, I mean, getting Andre Drummond with that team, I mean, just just to fill his role, just do his role, just, what you want to call it? Like he, and he's an all-star caliber type center. He's one of those traditional centers. I mean, if you were playing in a different area, he would be dominating right now. Um, 20, 20 and 20 guy. <laughs> Talking about a 20 and 20 guy. So he definitely has the potential to be great. And then we have, uh, yeah, but no, the Brooklyn Nets, 
they should not be I know this is the first year first 20 so games 15 games that they played together 10 games 15 games about 15 games that they played together um but they're putting up historically historically bad defense I mean I, we I don't, I don't think we've seen a defense this bad um but I, I think they're gonna tweak some things, bring in, bring in a couple of role players. To help. I seen they bring in Am Amon Shumpert to help out with the defensive end. But they're gonna have to do something else. Losing, uh, I understand why they pulled off the James Harden trade because I would have done it. I would have done the same thing. You telling me I can get a, another MVP on this team and uh, and a and two people that have been proven that have proven their legacies on the biggest stage. I mean, we, we talk about Kevin, Kevin Durant. He, he really did perform in the NBA Finals every single time that he's played in it. Even when he back in, lost in 012, I mean 2012, he still put on a good performance. Um, and then we have those two runs when he was with uh, Golden State, which I'm gonna call it. He really did his thing. He really did his thing. Um, really solidified himself as one of the best players in the world. And if you guys don't think that, we can argue in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a lot for this Brooklyn Nets team. But ultimately, I do see them being in the NBA Finals. I mean, it's really only one team out east that I can see competing with them right now. And I say that to the because they are really well coached and brought in some different pieces. And when once this team gets rolling, the Philadelphia 76ers are my uh, dark horse team to come out. I think they're ready. I think they're ready. Harden. That would be that would be really Again, nice. James that would be, Harden from downtown, his fifth three-pointer. He's toying with you offensively. Issues. Handle the basketball, you're playing one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Through the legs three yeah. times and then a the step back. In their defensive you know, effort, that's Harden. He's improved. always been very durable. That time he turns it over. He likes to play big minutes. He's going to be in that department. Practicing and KD's missing some games due to injury. Uh, and then some health protocol like that. That health protocol where he played in the actual game, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. That was the dumbest. He's already played in the game through two quarters, and you, you and now you want to sit him. That didn't make any sense to me. It was almost like when this see this NBA season has been weird. Almost like when Draymond Green got uh, ejected for nothing. I was like, "What the world is going on with the NBA this year?" But no, that's neither here nor there. Um, but no, chemistry issues. Uh, they, 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 they have laid out who is doing what, so that is a good thing. Um, and I want to see them compete this year. I want to see them. Give the Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets, whoever it may be in the uh, NBA Finals a run for their money. I mean, this team has the potential to go down as one of the best offensive teams of all time. I think that's I think that'll already be solidified, um, especially if they just if, if they go far. I'm not saying if they win. They don't even have to win the whole thing this year. But I think their window of opportunity is now. And James Harden has something to prove. He can and. Another thing, he's gotten t to back up off of scoring so much. And he said he likes that. And I like that. And I want to see him continue to lead the NBA in a sense, continue to preserve his energy for when the moment is the best. I mean, I want to see him thrive. It's time for James Harden to win the championship to solidify his Hall of Fame career. But, yeah, it's, I just, I just want to see him be great. That's it. Um, but, yeah, guys. The Brooklyn Nets have the potential. They have all the potential in the world to be an all-time great team. I'm talking about multiple championships, two or three at least. Um, KD is playing at, is balling out of his mind. I mean, numbers like this, 29, 7, and 5. Oh, come on now. And then you have Kyrie right behind you. And he gives you a good 28 Five and six, come on now. And then James Harden with the easy 24, seven and 11. I don't know what other team has this much firepower from their three biggest stars. I don't know what other team has in NBA history. And so when you put that on the, on, on paper, they're already champions. 
And then you have Joe Harris, Iman Shepard, good solid pieces around you. Um, getting those other, I see that getting other guys involved. That's the best thing. Get your role players involved. Cause you you already know you can get your own. You already know you can get your own. So I, I like I like what they're doing. And I mean, he is just the sky's the limit for this team. And I can't and wait to see what this is wizardry right now. Strength and men. We look at just amazing burst of speed. Not amazing because they're sixteen. Using the rim. Sixteen and twelve. Like with and you look at it like a team even before James Harden Green blocks. They should have not been that. Like their their record does not reflect their their success and what they're capable of. That this team, this team has the potential to play in the NBA Finals this year. This year, they have the potential. They're just that good. And we, any team with KD, they have a chance. We've seen that throughout his whole entire career. I mean, even when he was, even when he was with OKC, they still had a chance. And see, I mean, they're going to get in the playoffs easily. I mean, the East we know is the weaker conference, so. They're, they, they, they definitely have a spot. See, down there, they're sitting at a third seat right now at 16 and 12. They, they, you know that would not fly in the West. You know that wouldn't fly in the West. But, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Where do you see the Brooklyn Nets going this season? And leave, make sure to comment, subscribe, like, turn your post notifications on. That's the biggest thing for me. Turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a thing. But other than that, ball with MTG, we out. Peace.